So now let's talk about mission profiles. There are many types of these, and here we'll look at some typical examples. Might start with a simple cruise mission. It involves a takeoff segment, climb, cruise, a descent with a loiter part way through, and then landing. And I'll just label these to make it easier for us to talk about this later. So this is takeoff. This is climb. Here we have cruise. The descent, which is broken up by the loiter. And then of course landing. Another profile might be a commercial transport profile, which would look something like takeoff, climb, cruise, descend, and loiter, attempt to land, climb again with an aborted landing, divert to a nearby airport, and land again, including a loiter. So this would be something like a commercial transport mission profile. We'll look at a couple more. Something that would typically be used for a military aircraft might be a low-level strike with takeoff, climb, cruise out, descend, loiter, a low-level dashing attack segment with a weight drop climb back to cruise cruising back and then a land loiter or descend loiter and land so this is what we call a low-level strike profile. And uh, one more would be an air superiority fighter profile. So this would again involve takeoff, climb, cruise out, small drop in altitude, cruise with a combat segment, simultaneous with this is a weight drop, climb back to cruise, cruise back, descend, loiter, and land. This is air superiority mission profile. So, the simple cruise mission um, is used for general aviation, which means non-commercial and personal aircraft, and for some transport designs. But note that even that simple cruise has, go back, even the simple cruise has a loiter segment. So for safety, we want to carry some extra fuel in case the intended landing, landing airport is closed or, or busy. And this loiter segment, typically it's 20 to 30 minutes at something like 3,000 meters of altitude. at 3,000 meters altitude. It's also possible to specify this as an extra cruise range, um, for example, the distance to the nearest alternative landing airport, or an extra cruise time. For example, um, 
30 to 45 minutes extra cruise. And that's as per, um, United States FAA, FAA, uh, Federal Aviation Administration regulations. Looking at the commercial transport mission, in addition to the simple cruise mission, we also have to be able to fly to an alternative airport after loitering and attempting to land at our intended destination. So it's basically another short cruise mission after the original one. And these other profiles are more likely to be used for military aircraft, as I mentioned. So the low-level strike would typically be used for something like a bomber aircraft. This low altitude segment might be at only something like 100 meters altitude. Um, the aircraft is very inefficient, has a low L over D at this low altitude and high speed used for this segment, and so the engine efficiency is also reduced. During this short segment, the engine might burn as much fuel during this low level dash as during the entire much longer cruise out and back. A similar profile to this would also be needed for a water bomber aircraft used for fighting forest fires, for example. And in these cases, it can be important to account for the reduction in payload weight during the strike segment. Now, an air superiority fighter um, applies not only to fighter aircraft, but also to things, so fighters, but also aerobatics aircraft. And this combat section is specified typically in one of two ways, either as a number of turns or as a number of minutes with engines at maximum power. Now the fighters will typically also have a weight drop, and this is due to use of weapons. But for this profile, it's often safer to leave the weight drop out. And this is to ensure that the aircraft has enough fuel to return safely to base, even if no weapons end up being used. Now for both the low-level strike and the air superiority profiles, the two cruise segments are identical in length, as typically the aircraft takes off and lands from the same location. Now these are just four examples. There are many other mission profiles that are possible, including surveillance aircraft, reconnaissance, etc.